Nice job, nice job. Third and one, third and one. Huddle, huddle. Go. Turn it up, Quad, turn it up. I want everybody in the end zone if we play a play like that. Quit standing and watching. You understand? Yes, play some football. Wrap people up and tackle them. We ain't playing two hand touch today. Let's go. Three, Molly, Bubba, let's go. I'm on down. That's you, G. I'm down. Oh, Got on the field, you got a taste, uh, see what it's like out here on the palace. We'll try to get the grass a little sweeter before you come back here in a couple of weeks. And then we're gonna play better than the field looks. Yes, sir. Okay, now, now, now. All right, fellas, let's, let's, just, let's just remember today, okay? Um, our big problems, okay? Our big problems are some people not tackling to the ground, okay? Now, um, quitting on the play, things like that. Have pride in what you do. Have pride in the, this team you're representing, this high school, okay? Have enough pride to give it all you have and not walk around. You guys are going to turn this thing around, yes, okay? Sir. All right? Yes, Fellas, I've looked at 38 of these teams, and you got as much talent as I've coached. You got me? You're faster than most I've seen, yes, sir. okay? Yes, sir. These low expectations are killing you. You come in expecting to win, expecting to work hard. You come out here to be the best. And if somebody's going to come in here and beat you, they're going to have to die to do it. Yes, you sir, can't sir. give up your home field. You can't give up your home field. This is it. This is the place of pride. All right? So, fellas, all I got to say to all those naysayers, I ain't going to say nothing to them. I'm just going to invite them to the game, let them see for themselves. You understand me? Yes, all right, all right. If y'all do what? If y'all give me your best shot and you can't win, then I ain't much of a coach. You hear me? Yes. That's the way it works here. I am the last block. I'm where the buck stops. If there's anything going wrong here, it's me. All right? Plain and simple. If you got a problem, first see your position coach and then see me. Let's get this thing worked out. Communicate. Tell me what you want. If y'all don't give a damn and you want to go on like you have, I'll back off and let you do just what you have been doing. It's up to y'all. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'm going to push hard. I'm going to push hard, fellas. Don't resist me. Just, just, just try to get it in your mind that I'm just trying to teach you how to win. Those little things win for you. Those little things win for you. I'm convinced of that. All right? and go get some people. When people come in here, even if it's an inner squad game, they ought to leave here saying, damn, that son of a bitch hit me. He can hit, all right? That's all I'm seeing. Either you're scared or you're holding back, okay? And if you're scared, we can't do much about that. Don't be scared to make a mistake if you're going 100 miles an hour. If you're going 100 miles an hour, okay? Hard as you can, it might not be right. We can correct a mental thing, but fellas, a man that won't give great effort. I just, I'm not sure about him as a man, personally. Okay? Man. All right, guys. Great Woo! job. Great job. Great, great job. Bring it in, man. Bring it in. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Family. And everyone, Chris Hughes, Carolina Preps, coming to you this Saturday morning uh, from Hickory High School. Coach, I just watched your Garnet and Gold uh, inner squad scrimmage. Uh, first chance I've had a chance to come up here and see you guys since the spring when you had first uh, taken the job. Uh, I've seen you come a long way, though. You've got a lot of numbers. Uh, you've got a lot of really athletic young men, and, and it seems like they're slowly coming along to, to your way of thinking and, and getting after it. Uh, tell me what you thought after this first uh, official day of being able to have full contact. Uh, well, um, defensively, we're not as aggressive as I want us to be. We're, you know, we're not. We're not trying to buzz over and get 11 hats on the ball yet. I don't, uh, I don't know what we got to do to get that thing going, but we'll find the right 11 to do it. Um, uh, you know, offensively, we did a lot of good things. Uh, Darian Phillips, a third-year starter at quarterback, three out of his four receivers are seniors. Um, I would say uh, Dre Reinhardt and Tony Parks had some really nice play, and Jaquan Staten's always going to have to be one of our most productive players. And he was today. Up front, uh, Grant Amos was, was really sharp and sound, and we knew he would be. And Mark Quay Gibson, um, he, uh, he's a big right guard. He did some good things, too. The tackles got out in space in our screen game and actually broke a couple of guys uh, execution-wise. Uh, the only downer we see is uh, Bryce Stober, who's probably our most versatile player, injured his ankle. 
and uh, he's going to get an x-ray, so we'll know more about that soon. Hopefully it's, it's nothing serious. They think it might be a chipped fibula, but uh, hopefully it's not. Um, so anyway, um, getting back to it, I think the most impressive aspect today was the 45-yard field goal that Harrison kicked off the ground. Um, he, we have a really good kicker, and um, that's a nice weapon to have. But uh, overall, if I had the greatest today, I'd, I'd give the offense a B plus and the defense a C. You know, they, they do where they were supposed to be, but they just can't grasp the fact that they're going to hit their teammates today. And watching them on film last year is one of the worst tackling teams I've ever seen. So we got to get better at that. Well, I seen uh, after the practice, uh, you, you had a bunch of the, the guys together, and you were talking about expectations. And you were getting on them about not necessarily the big things, but I'd say the little things, running off the field, just intensity, things like that, uh, with just about two weeks now to the first game of the season. How do you feel? It seems like you're just trying to, to raise the level of expectations and let the young man know that it, it's not status quo anymore and you're trying to change their way of thinking. How do you feel like that change, that process is coming along? Oh, uh, We're about halfway there. Um, you know, this senior class has been through four coaches in four years, and they're actually the reason that it's not further along. They still, they're still a little stubborn and resist me some. And uh, for some reason, uh, some guys don't think it's very cool to run all, and off the field. You've been around me a long time. That's one of my pet peeves, and it's something that we really push hard. I think it, it shows honor for the game and shows you're uh, willing to go and be unselfish, get in the game and get ready to play or get off the field and uh, encourage one of your teammates. Um, so, again, yes, it is, it is the little things, a step here, a step there. Those things will happen, but uh, – you know, it's about attitude. It's about uh, if I'm across the field and the ball's on the other sideline, I got to get my back end over there, uh, you know, and get a piece of that tackle in case somebody gets away. Uh, Eleven men running to the football can't be beat. So um, our defensive, our co-D coordinator, Brian Herlocker, wasn't here today. He's having some family issues. Brian Lyles has done a really good job with him. And uh, with Nikasi Abernathy, uh, he's, he's our – He's our best def – well, he's a really good defensive end. He's 6'6", 250. We'd have just looked better if he'd have been here anyway. So, um, yeah, I, I like I like where we are. I'm not satisfied by any stretch. And, uh, you know, I've been asked by a lot of local pundits how, how patient they wanted the people to be with me. And I said, not at all. I expect us to go and get going and roll now. Um, you know, we've got the talent. Uh, our problem right now is getting the want to. So, uh, that's what I have to establish. We have to keep pushing it and keep getting the want to, and hopefully this senior class will, will come around. Uh, I'd hate to give up on them and start new guys just because they couldn't perform. Well, on a bright note, you had, I'd say, roughly 150 people in the stands just watching the practice, and it definitely looks like the community excitement's there and they're ready for some football, and that's got to be a huge plus coming into a program where they really want to win. Well, yeah, the, the real surprise to all our folks around here is we've got 90 names on the roster, and I think the last few years they struggled to get above 50. So the first thing you have to have, you've been through this with me before, first thing you have to have is you have to build up your numbers, and then after you get your numbers and you raise the level of play and the pride comes in, then you can tighten things up and really go at it from that perspective. Um, so... Again, I, I thought we had uh, we had a lot of talent that wasn't on the field today, and, and most of them, two were backs and two were big defensive linemen that would have really made a difference maybe. But, uh, you know, this was kind of for, for the parents. Everybody got to see their son play today for a little while. We all got him out here. Um, I knew that last group of offensive guys wouldn't be very knowledgeable. Um, you know, none of them were here at all this summer in that group. Uh, our, our, our leading players have been getting after this fairly good uh, the last couple of weeks. We had those dead periods in between and slowed us down. But uh, the biggest adjustment for these folks here is knowing that during June and July, we expect to be ready to play a football game, you know. And uh, they're, they're thinking about August 1st. In fact, we had a large number of people that came August 1st, you know starts on the July 31st. I thought it always started on the 1st. I said, yeah, it does, about 99% of the time until you have these funny calendar years. So, again, we're, we're trying to change the culture here and change the expectations. None of these guys had a very good middle school team, so we're putting two middle school teams together. Again, you've been with me. It's, it's a lot like Douglas Bird. You know, those guys didn't, didn't win over the other, and, and we were blessed to get them to go hard and, and win for us. So, again, we, we really have to – 
we really have to go on the field expecting to win, expecting for good things to happen. And, uh, and, and you know, Chris, it's just about, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old farm boy. My daddy told me to do the best I could every day. So if you do the best you can, you can live with the results. Um, you know, that's unfortunate. We've got some guys that don't quite know what that means, but they'll learn, um, you know, and, and we'll get it done. And if they don't learn, we might have to go on without them, but I certainly don't want that. Uh, we definitely have to, we have to ingrain in our program a sense of discipline and pride that's been missing. Well, Coach, I appreciate the hospitality and inviting me out here in the first place to see you guys. I anxiously see, uh, wait to see the results, and, I, and I'm sure they'll come. But thanks for joining us, and uh, have a good weekend. Thanks for all you do, man. You've been all over North Carolina, and the high school community really owes you a huge vote of gratitude and the things you're doing for us. And the rest of you coaches out there, Chris doesn't do this for us. He does it for these young men playing. You know, we just happen to be lucky and be around the product. He's, I've known this man since he was a player in high school, and uh, he just loves the game of football and wants to promote it. And uh, really, he'd rather coach than do this, but uh, apparently this pays better. So anyway, um, it's a pleasure to have you here, and we feel honored to have you with your camera out here looking at us. And you know, I'll tell anybody in the community they can get as close as they want because we're going to coach their kids the same way no matter what. And, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in that. But, again, thanks for coming and uh, appreciate you. And I love you to death, Big Phil. All right, thanks, Coach. We love you too. Can't wait to see you during the season again. For CarolinaPreps.com, Chris Hughes, and we will catch you next time.